Welcome, welcome to the Uriah Jokes presents the first annual Uriah Jokes Film and TV Award Show. <laughs> the award show celebrating excellence in film and TV through the mind of Uriah Westman. The only award show that lasts 25 days with 24 different categories for good and bad films and TV. And presenting the best action movie of 2020, Uriah Westman, filling in for Bruce Willis, who will do anything now for a paycheck. Fantastic. Is this, is it true? We would, we almost got Bruce Willis. Am I Bruce Willis? Is that what's going on? But Bruce Willis is like Nicolas Cage, where if the price is right, he'll be in the movie. Uh, he won't be in our podcast. Uh, not for $3, I learned. $3 was not satisfactory. Well, luckily for Bruce Willis, he's not nominated for anything now. Or maybe in the past when we do the prequels to the first one. So that makes it a negative one. Or should this have been the 28th annual? Well, let's, let's, uh, nothing like in a live ward show where I second guess myself live. Well, here we go. Here are the six nominations for best action movie of 2020. Tenet. Christopher Nolan. Extraction. And the winner is Christopher Nolan with Tenet. This is Christopher Nolan's first win and first nomination present accepting the award is Christopher Nolan. Thank you. There are uh, alchemists who for over a hundred years in various windowless rooms, basements, what have you, all across the world, have practiced a very special form of alchemy. I was, I was actually, I was lucky enough to see Tenet. I was lucky enough to see Tenet in the theaters twice. Once in regular screening and the second in real IMAX. And wow, the IMAX version was stellar. Interstellar. The next award. In the next episode will be the worst action movie of 2020, and that one will be hard to choose which one will be the winner, because holy action movies suck. But fantastic. This uh this virtual this virtual award show was uh, was a great idea. It costs nothing, and nothing helps bring people together in a divided time more than ranking the best of something, in this case, movies. So I, I already have a Nobel Peace Prize that I won twice now. This year, there's a clip, there's a video, it exists, it's real. And now I, I'm probably gonna get a third Nobel Peace Prize. So fantastic. But fantastic, this is the Uriah Jokes Podcast, where I talk while you look for anything else to watch. And speaking of doing just that, Let's get to the news. News, when you're already talked about the weather as small talk. Uh-oh, looks like you're about to get in an argument with a stranger in the elevator. According to a news article, so we're, uh, let's get to the news. According to a news article, the fast food chain KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken, is frying up a batch of drama for a Lifetime television movie. So Lifetime, I guess that's basic cable that people have for some weird reason. But with the premiere of its first original mini movie, so it, I guess has a runtime of an hour and seven minutes, the KFC movie called A Recipe 
or seduction. The movie will feature Saved by the Bell star and current extra, extra watch all about it host Mario Lopez. So I guess no one could save him from this movie. Not even a bell. Not even this bell. Not even this bell could save him. While the plot has yet to be released because it probably doesn't have one, which is the only reason why they wouldn't release the plot yet. The film's poster promises it's going to be finger-licking intrigue, finger-licking romance TV version, so you're not going to really see the good stuff. And by the good stuff, is that we're, we all want to see a sex scene with the, with the bucket of chicken, right? That's the... Secret of seduction. We all have secrets. Just his secret is a recipe for seduction. That's a real, that's the real film tagline. And of course, you know what? There's a new KFC movie and the trailer is out. I don't know what the movie's about. They've been numb numb on it because maybe it's because it's a secret recipe. I'm going to go ahead and here's my live reaction to this trailer. I'm really selling myself out here, right? What the hell are you doing? A Lifetime original mini movie. You don't answer my proposal. And now you're not answering <laughs> my call. I think I'm falling for the new chef. <laughs> Jessica is falling for Harlan. The <laughs> Jessica alone. He has a secret recipe that's going to change the world. Harlan claims to have some secret recipe. A secret recipe? Spare me. We all have our secrets. If you marry my daughter, I promise there'll be more long weekends in your future. <laughs> Mom, I have to tell you something. We have a problem. Secrets out, chicken man. I'll take care of this. You're ruining everything! Just go! <laughs> Who the hell are you? Harlan Sanders. Colonel Sanders in a recipe for seduction premieres December 13th at noon only on Lifetime. The film debuts Sunday at noon on Lifetime. Sunday at noon? I guess that's right after you go to Zoom church or whatever. I can't wait for the fight over the TV. I want to watch a football. No, I want to watch the new KFC movie. <laughs> and if there's only one TV in the house, maybe that's the goal. An uptick in divorces. So more divorce men will start wanting Colonel Sanders chicken. 11 herbs and spices. Maybe one of those herbs and spices is seduction and manipulation. I'm blowing my own mind right now. I don't even, I'm, I'm trying to find the words here. But hats off to you, Colonel Sanders. Well played. Now I have to get a lifetime movie subscription. How do you even subscribe to basic cable? Can you even do that? Is it even in basic cable? Is that a premium service? I don't know. I'll have to pay a premium to my therapist after watching that movie. But hey, Lifetime. There's no... They're, yeah, they won't. They're not going to sponsor me. I just ripped their movie apart and gave it airtime on my podcast. Which will probably have at least me looking at the movie. So, looks like you guys won. And well, this has been the Finger Looking Podcast of Uriah Jokes Podcast. It's a it's a finger looking good. It's a finger looking good podcast. It's a finger looking good podcast. And that's a real story. You can see the link there. And this has been the Uriah Jokes Podcast. Every Monday, every Tuesday, every Wednesday, and every Thursday. And I am tired of this.